Hi guys, welcome back to another Championship Manager video. This one, well obviously, is for the 2011-2012 season. Now, this is the third one I've done, uh, following on from 2009, 2010, 2010-2011. And uh, yeah, I've got to be honest though, as, as much as it is kind of a buzz to do this and a thrill, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this next year, although I probably will. You know, it just, it's so time consuming, it's incredible. I mean, I started doing this, uh, the, you know, the data for this season, probably in March. So, the, you know, the last season was still going on. And I, man alive. I mean, it is satisfying when you complete it. And it, it's pretty much complete. There's a few things to change here and there. But um, it's so time consuming, it's incredible. So I might have a little bit of a, a break, a bit of a hiatus, and then maybe come back in the future. I am in my very casual spare time working on a few retro seasons and that's gone pretty well but there's absolutely no kind of release date as it were for that it's just as and when it could be next month it could be 25 years from now just, you know just going very slowly with it and, uh, and very much a case of as and when but yeah so this is pretty much complete now i think one of the first things that i'm gonna say and um this is based on the fact that i, I do get a lot of pms about this and a lot of channel comments left or video comments from the previous two Championship Manager videos I've done, and that's regarding compatibility. Now, a lot of people, and I understand why, because they want to know if it works for their system, a lot of people ask me, you know, does it work on Windows Vista, Windows 7, 9, Windows 8 million, or whatever else is out? And I, I honestly don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I mean, I use a Mac. What you're seeing now is the game running on an iMac. Uh, it also runs on a MacBook. Now, I used to play this game. I mean, obviously, it's a PC game, you know, a DOS-based game. So um, I imagine it will work on your PC, whether it's a new one or whether it's an old one. But in terms of compatibility and maybe some um, uh, system adjustments and changes you've got to make to enable it to work, I'm not really sure about that. My advice to you would be to Google it. You know, you can pretty much find any answer you want on Google. So that's my advice there. Um... Yeah, I mean, the one thing that I will say is, it is, like I say, it is a PC DOS-based game. I am using it on a Mac. I do use something called Boxer. Um, or is it DOSBox I use? I can't quite remember. I think it's DOSBox. But there is also, there's DOSBox and Boxer available. And essentially what they are, in very much layman's terms, and in a nutshell, they, DOSBox and Boxer are programs, if you like, which enable you to play older games or older applications on modern computers. I know I've missed out a lot of detail there, but um, yeah, that's essentially what they are. So what you, I mean, for example, what, like I say, I use a Mac, so I need either DOSBox or Boxer to help me run this software on my Mac. You may need it for your PC, I don't know. They are free downloads, again, if you go to the Boxer website or DOSBox, like I say, just Google them, and I, they pretty much both do the same things, but maybe one has a slight advantage or the other. Um, I don't know. It's, I guess it comes down to preference, but you will need them, I guess, anyway, to help it uh, help it work or make it work on your system. So that's that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, even though I've just said that, people will still ask me, does it work on Windows? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. You, I'm afraid you're going to have to find that bit out for yourself. But, so that's my advice. I mean, before you start, you know, asking for this download and getting this download um, from me for this particular season, please just download the game because you can't buy it anymore. Uh, so you're going to have to download it, really. Again, it's easily available if you know where to look. And, yeah, just see if it works on your system. And if it does, then this update will work. There's no reason why this won't work on your system. It works on my Mac, and I used to have it on the PC. But, um, like I say, test it out yourself. Before you, uh, before you get this download. Because the last thing I want is someone, you know, getting the download and exchanging emails and all that kind of stuff, and then you contacting me saying it doesn't work. Well, it does work, as you can see. It's running in the background. Um, it's just a case of you may have to work a little bit harder to get it to work on your system. But anyway, all that aside, let's talk a little bit about the game. Now, some people may think, hang on, this is Championship Manager. It's 97.98. Why are you still playing it? Well, I've touched upon this in my previous two videos. For the last two seasons and ultimately I just find this enjoyable it's simplistic you know there's no frills it's just very basic just pick your team buy and sell a couple of players here and there 
and and just get on with it. You know, you can wrap up a whole season, um, you know, within an hour or two, you know, whatever it may be, at a very casual, leisurely pace. And what I find with the current football managers or God forbid championship managers, the later ones or recent ones, is I just find them too involving to the point of where it's not really enjoyable. You know, like setting, you know, everything like formations and training and setting the price of a bloody cup of tea for the crowd or whatever else it is. I just find it too much. It's it's too involving. It's too in-depth. And I'm a massive football fan. I mean, proper hardcore passionate anorak when it comes to football i love it i love the game i'm a historian i love watching and talking and reading about it but i even me for someone who's really into the the sport and the game in general i find the modern incarnations of championship manager football manager i find it too involving and boring quite frankly so i this is why i keep going back to this game time after time season after season i just find it really easy to get into very simplistic and uh, yeah, it's no frills, but it, it gets the job done. Now, the one drawback, the one major drawback, well, there's quite a few, I guess, but because obviously it's 97, 98 season, therefore you've got that, um, those competitions essentially, and everything that was happening in that era within this game. So for example, you've got the UEFA Cup is still in this game. Now, of course, in real life, in reality, the UEFA Cup doesn't exist. It's now been morphed and changed, if you like, into the Europa League. Um, the Cup Winners' Cup doesn't exist in real life, but it's still in this game. So if you win your domestic cup at the end of a season, and presuming you haven't, say, won the league as well, then the following season you are going to go into the European Cup Winners' Cup in the game. Like I say, in real life it doesn't exist anymore, so that's a bit of a drawback. Um, little things like, you know, in again, in real life, in reality, in League 2, two teams get relegated now. Whereas in this game, because it goes back to 97, 98, only one team gets relegated. And little things like that here and there, like, you know, the championship, it's not called the championship in this game. But in reality, of course, the division below the Premier League is called the championship. But it's very easy to turn a blind eye to things like that, or at least it is for me. Um, transfer valuations, again, a little bit unrealistic at times. The most you're really going to play for a, a pay, I should say, for a player is possibly 15, 16 million. And that's even for the likes of Rooney, for Lionel Messi, or whoever for that matter. Whereas in real life, I mean, you wouldn't be surprised if Messi went for 100 million tomorrow, maybe more. But in this game, if he is available, you're talking 15, 16 million. Now, technically, you know, if there's a, a bidding war going, uh, you could force yourself to pay a little bit more. But generally speaking, like I say, 15, 16 million tops, if not cheaper. But again, I can turn a blind eye to completely to it, but maybe you can't, I don't know. So this video really, it's not to try and convert people to play Championship Manager 97, 98. I guess if you're watching this video and you're still watching it, you know, five, 10 minutes in, whatever, then you're watching it because you're a fan of the game anyway. And this game has definitely got a cult kind of status. And I knew that anyway, of course, just talking to people. But I mean, my first video, and I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but off the top of my head, I think so far, the first video I did for this data update from 2009, 2010, I think it's got something like 14,000 views. And last season's data has got a similar amount. And this one, I'm sure, eventually, as the months go by, will we'll get the same, if not more, obviously, as time goes on. So people are definitely interested. And I just don't know why, for the life of me, you know, IDOS or Sports Interactive or whatever incarnation it is now, I don't know why they just don't release this game again. You know, but just with modern data, with modern competitions, starting the game obviously in 2011, rather than the game which, as you can see in the top right-hand corner, it's in 1997 because of the 97-98 season. I don't know why they just don't release this, just for a cheap download, you know, five quid, ten quid, stick it on Xbox Live maybe. I mean, they'd, they'd absolutely make a fortune, um, but it's their loss, I guess. Their loss, my game. <laughs> if you look at it that way, I don't know. But um, I really wish they would do it, because to play this game with the current competitions would just be so amazing, it would be insane. I have actually contacted them in the past, uh, naively perhaps, and said, look, why don't you do this? You know, look at my video, I've done this, people are interested. And, but they just didn't get back to me, and, and I understand why, you know, of course. But um, I, d I just think they're missing out. I think it's a great opportunity for them, but like I say, it's not my problem, I guess. And as a result, because they're not doing it, I've got to do it. So um, 
I'm obviously I'm not a programmer. I don't know how to change the competitions. It's probably impossible unless you really know what you're doing. Um, so yeah, so this is the best I think anyone can do. And I dare say, you know, this is the best one out on the market, simply because I guess a lot of people aren't really that devoted enough to put enough time and effort into the editor. Now, what I've done, I've, I've essentially done all 20,000 players, which is uh, capable of uh, holding in the database at once, which is crazy, 20,000 players. It, like I said, it's taken a long, long time, but all the divisions are done, you know, within the game. So if you want to play the Portuguese league, then you can. You know, Portuguese first division and second division players I've put into the game. The Dutch first division, Dutch second division, that all the players are in the game. Now, naturally, I'm sure you're going to find a few inaccuracies and a few discrepancies here and there. I think that's to be expected. But if you do, please let me know. I mean, or you could just change it yourself in the editor. But, you know, if there's anything majorly obvious and uh, completely wrong, please let me know and I'll change it. But by and large, I think it's... Um, I think it's all pretty accurate, really. Now, I'm not quite sure, to be honest, if I'm going to do anything, any more transfers. Like I said, I'll change a few more things. I've got to finish a couple more teams here and there. Um, you know, fine tuning, if you like. But the data, which is pretty much here now, like you can see on the screen, is what's ready to go out. And it just gets to a point where you've just got to release it because otherwise you'll keep putting it off and off and off and off. And so I'm just going to put it out there now for people who want it. You know, you can contact me and uh, on all the rest of it. But um, what I'll say is, you know, maybe for the people who have it, maybe if you contact me again in maybe two or three months, maybe Christmas time, I'll send you an updated file and then that will, uh, you know, have all the changes that I've made since. Because like I say, if I keep putting it off, I'll never release the bloody thing. So I just think now's a good time to get it out. And... Um, We'll keep all the fans of the game happy. I know it would be for me, you know, if someone else was doing this game. I mean, this is the reason why I do it, because I don't see anyone else doing it. So I kind of took it upon myself to create the data for it for this season, last season and the season before. Because no one else was working on it, because it is a cult game. And like I said, in the scheme of things, not that many people are playing on it. Although, as I say, you know, the view count for the videos are really high for the last two I've done. So there's clearly a market out there. If anyone knows how to change the competition names and all that, please let me know. And we'll have to team up and we'll have to do something here in, in terms of releasing the game. Because there is a market out there. And I just wish, like, say, Sports Interactive would take these emails seriously. That I mean, I've only ever sent them one and it was like two years ago. But uh, I know other people have. You know, people have contacted me, uh, contacted me sorry, via PM. And they've said, you know, I've contacted Sports Interactive, IDOS, and they're just not interested. And it's a shame. Because as I say, I'm just repeating myself now, but I really do feel as a market. But anyway, I'm pretty much repeating myself. I'm sure there was something which I should have said. I mean, I've touched upon the transfer valuations. I've touched upon the fact that the data is obviously out of date uh, in regards to competitions. There's some competitions in the game which don't exist anymore. But it really is easy to bypass, or I feel it is anyway. Um, so it's, it's not that much of a problem. So... That's about it, really, guys. I, I don't know what else to say. Like I, like I do say, though, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in regards to next season. I may have a bit of a break for it because it does take a long, long time. I mean, I've ploughed hundreds upon hundreds of hours into this, and that is an understatement. And I'm not sure I want to spend six months of the year doing it every year. I am working on a couple of retro seasons for... Currently, I'm doing 85, 86 and 89.90 and that's going really well although it may be predominantly based around the English leagues really because finding data from the 80s for the Portuguese second division or the Dutch second division or whatever it may be is pretty difficult as you can imagine so I'd rather just not have it than just have bits here and there so it might just concentrate on the on the English leagues with, with maybe the Scottish leagues thrown in as well but, but definitely the English leagues. So that's about it, guys. I'm just going to let this video play out. There's only like a few seconds left anyway, maybe, maybe a minute or whatever it is. But if you're interested in it, please, please contact me and um, and all the rest of it, you know. And if you've got any suggestions, if you want to maybe help out in the future in regards to possibly somehow finding a way to, you know, get into the engine and change the competition names and the year and all that kind of stuff. If it's even possible, and I highly doubt it. But if it is, I mean, we could make a really, really good game, you know, all up to date and all the rest of it. 
So um, I'm just trying to think before the video ends if there's something that I was going to say. I'm sure there is, but uh, I guess I could always add an annotation or put it in the description box underneath. But yeah, if you're interested, drop me a line and uh, I hope you like it. I've worked for a long, long time on this and it's as good as it's going to get. There's nobody out there who's going to do a better update than that, uh, than this, I should say, and that's a fact. So, uh, yep, thanks for watching. Take care and see you later.